Hi, welcome to CES 2020. My name is Julio Sanchez. I'm the technical product marketing engineer for Low Power RF. Today we are presenting our newest BLE family member, the Blue Energy LP, which is Bluetooth 5.0 compliant SOC running on a Cortex M0 Plus, 256K of flash, 64K of RAM. It complies fully with uh, the standard. We have the two megabit per second, we have the codify, and we have the advertising extension. In this particular demo, we're uh, presenting or showing the codify functionality. What we have set up is four receivers here and the transmitters, we put one on the next room and this one all the way to the back in a, it's about a, a hundred meter distance. And what, and what we're doing is that we're comparing the LP, the 5.0 uh, BLE to the, our legacy part, the Blue Energy Dash 2, which is a 4.2. And what we're doing here is that we're sending a hundred packets every 10 seconds and we are measuring the packet error rate. Usually when we talk about coded phi, the first thing that comes to our mind is long distance solutions. But that totally changes when we're in an indoor environment. And that's what we're showing here. So for a short distance so, uh, application in an indoor environment, we can see that using a BLE 4.2, in this case, a Blue Energy Dash 2, the, C, uh, the connection link is kind of weak. Here, we're seeing that we, out of every three packages that we send, we're basically losing more than two in average. Compared to the Blue Energy LP, in which we are using the coded phi, we can see that basically we are receiving for, from every three packets, we're receiving actually two or more, which makes a really robust uh, connection link. Now, if we move to a farther distance, as I mentioned, it's about 80 to 100 meters, and we do the same uh, situation, of course, on the Blue Energy Dash 2, we're using a 20 dB MPA to be able to reach that far. But even though with the PA, you can see that the connection link is really weak compared to the coded phi with the Blue Energy LP. So imagine in an uh, office building where you have a lot of people, a lot of blocking objects, a lot of 2.4 signals, signal interference. You can use this kind of uh, setup and you can use a Blue Energy LP with the coded phi feature to improve the connectivity in this type of environments. So apart from the point-to-point -point connection that we just showed with our Blue Energy LP, we're also presenting our Blue Energy Mesh for industrial building automation, which is SIG certified. Our BLE Mesh stack works with all of our BLE devices from 4.1 to 5.0. One of the things that we have done that makes this unique is that we added intelligence to the edge. What does this mean? In the past, what we used to do is that all the information that we got from the sensors, an MCU or the cloud used to process it, adding latency in the case of the cloud or having the, our customers, having them to go to a bigger microcontroller with more features, more cost. In this case, SD is the only one that has this uh, te uh, technology so when an event happens, in this case, if we have a machinery and we detect the machinery is starting to vibrate, all this processing is done inside the MEMS and the only thing that we get is an interrupt. And this interrupt or change in state goes through our mesh network and fires an alarm. So this is really important. Another key aspect of uh, Bluetooth mesh, in, in this case, our stack, is that we have the most complete stack in the industry. Apart from that, we can apply it to different applications. For example, in a smart building solution, we can use it to control the lights using proximity or gesture recognition. One important thing that we have also uh, added is our embedded provisioner. In the case of uh, industrial applications, 
you're not going to be using your, uh, your smart tablet or iPhone or Android phone to be connecting and managing your uh, network. You need something more uh, appropriate. In this case, the embedded provisioner gives you that. You're able to use a user interface and the embedded provisioner to, in a secure way, manage all your network. Another functionality that we, that we have is voice over BLE. We're capable of uh, sending voice commands through BLE to the tablet and from the tablet using Wi-Fi to Google's cloud, in this case. Translate that into a text command, compare it to the, the Google dictionary, and get a response. Let's test that. Turn on the lights. Turn off the lights. Having, if we have in mind the demo that I just did on the BLE 5.0 and our Bluetooth mesh, ST has a complete solution for industrial and building automation. If you have more questions, you can talk, contact our sales offices or visit our website at st.com.